I am Pastor Victor and I welcome you to my channel. Today is a very beautiful day and I want to talk about something very much important. And the thing that I want to talk about, I want to talk about how to know if your mind is damaged. If your mind is damaged, what kind of the sign? I want to talk about the signs of how to know if your mind is damaged. Yes. But before we talk about that, if you are new to this channel, please go and hit the subscribing button and subscribe to this channel so that whenever I post a video, you'll be able to see it. You are going to get a notification. And by that, you'll be able to follow and be blessed. And also, if you're following me on, if you're watching this video on Facebook, you can also follow Pastor Victor Mfla on Facebook so that he, whenever there is a new video, you'll be able to know what is happening. So, three signs that shows that your mind is damaged. Sign number one is inconsistency. Inconsistency. In the Bible, according to Jesus, Matthew chapter 5, verse 37, he says, let your yes be yes and let you know be known. What does this mean? It means that there are some people today they can tell you this, tomorrow they tell you something else again. Always they are changing their mind. If you, you find yourself you are in the position where you don't know where you are standing, you must know that there is something wrong with your mind and if you are always changing decisions you don't know what you stand on where you are standing or what you believe in you can never be able to progress or to do much in life because always for you it will be going forward and coming back so when you are you find yourself in the place where whatever that you are doing there's no consistency in it it means there is something wrong with your mind and you're supposed to do something about that. Remember that inconsistency is the sign to show that your mind is somehow damaged. Sign number two, to know that your mind is damaged. Sign number two, to know that your mind is damaged is lack of self-control lack of self-control. Now, self-control is one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. It means if you don't have self-control, you cannot do much in life. It will make you not to progress because you don't have self-control. Peter, in the book of First Peter chapter 4 verse 7 says, our mind has to be sober. If your mind is not sober, it will be difficult for you to make a to make something that is tang tangible or to make progress because always people they will be controlling you when you want to do this someone will come up with a new idea you want to follow it you leave what you are doing when you want to think positive somebody come and pulls you back because you are not in charge of yourself somebody else is able to control your mind and there are some people who don't want to see you progressing to go further. That's why they come to play with your mind, always bringing you back. But when you have got the self-control, you'll be able to know what you want. You'll be able to go where you want to go. You'll be able to think like the way you want to think. But when you fail to control yourself, it means you are failing to make a progress in your life. Remember that, self-control. It shows, it is the sign to show that your mind is somehow damaged. Sign number three, sign number three, to know that your mind is damaged. Sign number three is low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem, it is the steam that have been eating so many genius in the world. People with great ideas such that if they can bring those ideas on the table, the world will never be the same. But there is a mind in them that is damaged 
all always telling them to say, you are not good enough. Say, this thing that you are thinking cannot be done by you, but it can be done by special people who come from somewhere, not people who look like you, not people who come from the community where you come from, not people who went to the school where you went to. Everything surrounding them, it brings a disadvantage to them. Self-esteem, it always speaks to the inner man to say you are not good enough. It makes you to be like a, to, to be like a snail. Always you want to be in the shade. Always you want to hide. You don't want to shine. But when you are alone in your room, you are able to do greater things. You are able to think big. You are able to plan big. But when other people come, you are shy. You enter into your share. You don't want to shine. Low self-esteem, it is a steam that damages your mind. And as long as you are thinking that you cannot do much, you cannot be like others, you cannot shine, you cannot perform on a bigger platform, always you, are, you think others, they are better than you, you never go anywhere. That low self-esteem, it must go out of your mind. If you notice that you are always failing to, to do better, you are always failing to shine, you come up with an idea, but when people come, you fail to, to explain that idea, you fail to, 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 to shine that idea to others, know that there is something wrong in your mind. It is the sign that your mind somehow, it is damaged. Now, I have just mentioned three of the signs that show that your mind is damaged. If you want to know more, you must be able to make a plan that you can order this book that I'm calling Conqueror's Mindset. It is a book that changes the mind of a winner. If you want to win, if you want to progress, if you want to do better in life, you cannot do better no matter how you say you are going to do better unless your mind is changed. You must change the way you are thinking. Find this book. There are numbers on this video. Find, send a WhatsApp message. You can write me an email or you can just comment in the comment section you say you want it. And we are going to make a plan to give you this book. I am Pastor Victor Fra, and for now, I'm saying bye-bye. Have a blessed day.